So I've been reading a book by Eric Ries called uh, The Four Steps to an Epiphany. And basically the, the gist of the book is about um, the importance of anytime you're running like a, a startup or a high growth business, the importance of just validating every assumption that you have because the vast majority of the the assumptions and the hypotheses that you make in that business are just complete guesses, right? And so I've really taken that to heart, um, especially with the launch of, of my own agency, Mocker Media, because like even though like I do have an established like consultancy sort of freelance business, um, Mocker Media is very much a startup. It's very much a, a slightly different business model than I've been um, executing on and there's just so much competition and the barrier to entry in uh, launching a, a, a digital agency is so low that you know I feel like I need to go back to the basics and really talk to potential customers uh, for a few reasons one to find out like what their buying process looks like and and, and how they actually go about evaluating uh, new agencies to work with and, and the value that they actually get from working with those agencies so that I can speak to that because even though I'm focused on ROI and conversion rates and cost per leads, businesses might not be. Um, and if they're not seeing value in those same metrics, then I need to change my language to map to that. Point two is um, just by the act of talking and discussing with businesses, that puts me in touch with businesses, which if I'm talking with them and it turns out we're a good fit, like that's a, that's a shoe in. I'm, anytime they're looking for an agency, that's going to give me a, a leg up from anyone else who um, is potentially looking to, to bring them on as a client. And so really, like I've, I've discussed this before, my weakest point as a marketer is like kind of my lack of, of branding. And, and historical lack of content. And this year I'm, I'm making a lot of strides in the right direction to overcome that. And this is, this is another step uh, in that direction. And so the, the current project that I have going on right now is uh, reaching out to and contacting 100 prospective companies who would be a good fit for my agency um, and just discussing with them for like 15 minutes, like, hey, do you use an agency? Yes or no? If not, why not? If so, why? What value do you see in your perfect world? Like what, what would your perfect agency look like? That would just be like a hell yeah, let's hire these guys. Um, and, and you know, just, just discuss what, what that looks like, what the agency model looks like in their world so that I can map to that. Um, and, you know, hopefully A, land some new clients, um, B, use that messaging to scale my outreach efforts and, uh, and C, um, just, just have a better market message fit for my clients so that I'm able to scale my agency in, in the coming months. And so the way that I'm going to do that, like 100 businesses, right? Like that's a lot. There's, there's a ton of different ways that you can acquire leads for your businesses. This is one way that I'm going to show you that, that I'm going to acquire these leads for businesses to reach out to. Um, a great way is looking up your local chamber of commerce and looking up uh, the contact info that they have there. But I'm actually going to show you how to use something called techlookup.hunter.io. And so this is very similar to another app. Let me show you what it looks like here. So the website is techlookup.hunter.io. This is what it looks like. Um, and this is very similar to another website called builtwith.com. The only exception, builtwith is better. Um, the only exception is builtwith. It's pretty expensive. It's like 500 bucks a month. But basically what both of these sites allow you to do is to just search for a type of technology, like a, a, a website plugin or you know CMS or automation software. And then it will return you a list of domains that use that technology. And then what you can do, which I'll show you, is use a software called Find That Lead to actually scrape all those domains, return emails, and then you can then reach out to those people um, you know, using, using those emails and you can build a, a qualified list of prospects. And so the reason I'm gonna use TechLookup right now is because it's good enough. Um, it's not as extensive as builtwith.com, but it's, it's good enough for my purposes. I'm only trying to reach out to 100 uh, people. So the first thing that I'm going to do is obviously, obviously I only want to reach out to businesses that are already investing um, in marketing of, of, of some sort, right? So one of the things that, that Eric uh, Rees, or is it Rise? I think it's Rees, 
uh, mentions in Four Steps to an Epiphany is like, hey, if you're a startup, you're not looking to convince anyone to buy what you have to sell. Um, you're, you're only looking for that small segment of people that are like, hell yes, let me buy right now. I, I want to buy. I see the value. And so what I'm doing is I'm using this techlookup.hunter.io to filter out um, websites that are already investing um, at least you know a thousand bucks, give or take, per month on their marketing. And so I'm able to do that by looking at the software that their website's using. For example, if they're using Pardo or Marketo, um, those are like $1,000 a month minimums, $350 a month minimums, and that's just for software. So if they're spending that much just on software, there's a good chance that they're spending significantly more on that on marketing. Therefore, they're a qualified prospect. I could reach out to them and have an intelligent conversation and they would be open to the idea of hiring an agency because they already understand the value prop. So to do that, you go to techlookup.hunter.io and you can type in whatever technology you want. So for example, like let's say I wanna look up uh, websites that are using Infusionsoft because Infusionsoft is a relatively expensive email provider. Just hit enter. And of course, for some reason, it's locking up on me. There we go, Infusionsoft. You just click it and it will sit, it will give, return 1,278 websites who use Infusionsoft. You can then um, export them as a CSV. You can limit the selection to websites with a popularity. I don't actually know how this calculation works, but you can see like websites with three to five popularity. It's only 19 of them. Uh, so I'm not entirely sure how that calculation works. I'll probably go like one to five. Um, but anyways, you get Infusionsoft. And so then if you want to export it, you probably want to filter for English speaking languages. Great. You can click validate selection and then it's gonna ask you to opt in. You don't actually have to. And you just have to validate that you're not a robot and you can download the file. And then it will send you the CSV in your downloads and you just open it up. And you'll see you just get a list of domains. And uh, there should be like 670 domains. 632 domains, great. So these are 632 websites that use Infusionsoft in their websites, right? So these people obviously at least understand the value of marketing automation and email marketing. Now, if one, well, we'll get to that in a second. So that's one way you can just go to techlookup.hunter.io and just type in, um, and just type in the technology you're looking for. But like I mentioned, uh, Tech Lookup's uh, database is relatively small. There's only 115 technologies that they've scraped. So the best way that I've found is to just go down here to show all technologies, and then you, it will list every single technology that they track and that they scrape. And so for me, for my purposes, I'm looking to reach out to qualified prospects who understand the value of marketing, um, and so I'm going to look up companies that use HubSpot because that's expensive. I already looked up Infusionsoft. Marketo, that's expensive. I think it, the minimum is close to a grand a month. Pardo, whoops, Pardo also. Um, Shopify might be a good one, um, but there's a better way to, to scrape some of those, um, which I'll get into in another video. Magento might be a good one. I'm not sure how expensive that is, but I believe that's a that's an enterprise class software. Um, what else here? And Zendesk Chat. If a company invests in like live chat customer support, they they're probably a a company that's at scale understands the value of marketing. Um, and so those are the those are the lists that I'm gonna pull. And I'll pull these individually. I won't make you watch me uh, pull each of these lists. 
But anyways, then what I'll do is I'll have a CSV and this is the Infusionsoft CSV um, that I had earlier. And then what I'm going to do is go to a website called find that lead. It's just findthatlead.com. And I believe it's free. I purchased, um, I purchased a trial on uh, AppSumo, but I believe it's free for like 375 emails a month or something. But anyways, you can go you can log in. Uh, log in with Google. And so what you'll do then is you go to CSV upload and then you can go to domain search in this case. And so there's a few different ways. Once you get your list of domains, um, you probably want to do, I'm not actually going to upload all of these because I still know that a lot of these aren't qualified, but you'll have this list of 600 domains that uh, use Infusionsoft, right? And so what you're probably going to want to do is just take a look at each website um, or have a VA take a look at, look at each website and just qualify them to some extent. Like, uh, let's see, backyardcatenclosures.com.au is probably a pretty niche website, if it's even active. Hmm. Uh, this is actually a pretty professionally set up website. Wow. How many Facebook? <laughs> 18,000 people, huh? All right, cool. So this is actually probably a qualified website. Um, you can see if they got the Facebook pixel installed. Subscribe button, click conversion event. So they're optimizing for that. Yeah, so this is actually a qualified, uh, this would be a qualified business to reach out to. But, you know, just categorically speaking, there's going to be businesses and domains in here that are not qualified to reach out to. And so you're going to probably want to filter in some way and only look up the qualified, uh, the qualified domains. And then there's two ways you can go about it. Option number one is in find that lead, going back to find that lead. You just go to CSV upload and you can upload a CSV containing domains and you just click on domain search. And what you'll do is you will upload a CSV and I'm not going to upload all of this because I only have so many credits and it's going to blow through all of them. But let's, let's just take this backyard cat enclosures example. So we'll go to single domain search, enter in that and go search. And there's no results found for this domain. So obviously find that leads, not going to be able to find emails for every single domain. But the nice thing about find that lead is it only charges you, um, for domains that it finds emails. So let's try adrianrichardson.com. All right, let's try cliffordjones.com. Cool, all right, well, let's try like wallstreetjournal.com. So you can see here, it pulls up a list of emails that it's found from wallstreetjournal.com. So like for smaller uh, niche websites, it can be less effective. Um, and so if you find that that's the case, if you upload this list and you don't really get any results, then what you might need to do is take a, an additional deep dive into these websites and look up actually the, the names of the people behind the website. So like in many cases, it'll be like the owner or the head of marketing. Um, you can also use LinkedIn to like, so going back to this backyardcatenclosures.com.au, they seem like they're a legitimate website. And so um, like a legit company. And so you could probably go to LinkedIn actually and search for uh, employees of this, of this business and then what you would do is go back to find that lead and you would go to lead search. And now that you have a name, you need a first name, a last name and a domain. 
oops, excuse me. So you go to lead search, you need a first name, a last name, and a domain. And all you would do then is you just, you type in those names and the, the domain that they're at, and then find that lead will go through and uh, scrape any potential emails that could be associated with that contact. And once it does that, then there's another option. Uh, it's called the, the lead verifier. And so what you can do then is with find that lead, you click that button and find that lead will actually verify that the email address works. Um, which saves you from like spam traps and things like that when you're doing cold outreach Obviously, you never want to spam you want to be completely ethical about it And there's nothing wrong with cold outreach But this just helps ensure that the emails you're sending are qualified and will land in someone's inbox somewhere um, And so this is just a little bit of a, a tutorial showing you how you can use this this uh, relatively new tool by hunter.io called tech lookup to pre-qualify some of your domains and then you can use find that lead to actually find the emails and contact information of people in those domains and then you can use that for your uh, marketing and prospecting efforts um, and then this is how I'm going to use it to reach out and have conversations with 100 different uh, qualified businesses about how they use agencies how they'd like to use agencies and what the ideal agency looks like uh, to them so if you run an agency, question for you guys, if you run an agency or a consultancy, I would love it if you'd leave a comment and uh, just you know leave a comment with your number one challenge when it comes to prospecting and new lead acquisition. And if you run a, a legitimate business, uh, like a, a real business uh, that, that invests you know over a, a couple grand a month in your marketing uh, budget, um, I would love you for you to leave a comment with uh, what your ideal dream agency scenario would look like for your business. Thanks guys, take it easy.